first thing I'd like to say is how much Krista gets frustrated with technology. Like losing the mouse cursor, she gets all angry and yells at the computer. <laughs> I just been notified what I thought was two years stint. I've actually been working on this song called Erase Her for four years. What did you do that for? Four years? Four years? Oh jeez. Um, my sister Angela had written the original lyrics and um, it was very poem-like and you know it told a good story and I asked permission to butcher it appropriately and make it more lyric worthy. So um, that's what we've been recording over the last two weeks. I know that's two weeks. It didn't take much convincing for her to wanna be the one to do the, the lyrics or the singing. And um, she just jumped in and offered herself completely. And I think it turned out very, very nice. When we record vocals, I've actually had a lot to learn there because I'm used to working by myself and the computer. <laughs> So I tell it what to do and it does it. And I don't, up until the past few years, I haven't had a lot, a lot of patience for live performers, which is terrible, I know, but that's me. So I've learned to slow down and understand that my role in that is just to push buttons and give my opinion, nothing more. And that's fine. Last weekend, we recorded um, Krista's sister, Angie vocals, the main vocal for Erase Her, and that was a very different experience. I didn't know how I was going to feel because knowing my patience level with dealing with human beings, <laughs> I didn't know. It, it actually went fine, and, and I didn't feel um, uncomfortable. I thought I was going to feel a bit uncomfortable, but um, she's family, so it was much easier than it would be if it was a complete stranger. And then my job was to come in behind that and, you know, do more atmospheric vocals to back her because it's a very minimal song and it didn't start out that way. It started out very much like, you know, doom, 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 doom. And then we kind of let it set for a while and went back to listen and was like, this isn't what it's supposed to be. When we originally started working with Erase Her, which was several years ago, we had kind of a chord progression and melody, and then I added all this stuff. I think I was listening to too much Covenant at the time, but <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that, but it sounded very electronic, and it, it was fine, but it had absolutely nothing to do with the lyrics. <laughs> so it was kind of like fitting two things together that don't necessarily fit. Warren had given it more of a, definitely more of a poppy, electronic-based kind of synthy environment, and uh, you know, pretty up-tempo, and the lines felt, even at that point, it felt like the lyrics were being rushed along, like through the song, and it, it just didn't fit. The music was nice and everything. It was a very light and dancey mix, but um, it didn't fit to what the story was supposed to say. And, you know, once I'd gotten the music worked out, I was just going under the assumption that this is how the music is, and we'll figure out how to make the vocals work with it, duh. And then, finally, Krista and Angie ganged up on me. Angie came up and um, we spent a day kind of reworking it, like to give it more of the mood that she was intending. And that worked extremely well because I think it put her back in that place and it certainly fit more with what she wanted it to say. It was like, this doesn't fit. So I just took it back out. So it was just the chords, just like a cello. I was like, okay, well, this is a sad song. What's sad? Cello's sad. Let's use a cello. But it supported the story of the song and the vocals instead of trying to beat it into submission. So it ended up being much, much better. And it was good to kind of let go. And being the control freak that I am, I'm usually like, well, I really think we should do it this way because you really, you really should listen to me because I know what I'm talking about. I don't. So it was good to just go, what should we do? Okay, I'll do it that way. And then when it's done, think it's much better. Take me, take me.